Hello everyone, it's SpursReady96 here, and welcome to another TrainSim World video on my channel. Today I've decided to go in depth into a type of route that we have experienced in the past in TrainSim World 2, and that is, of course, a high speed route, but also uh, a concept that has been utilized by Dovetail Games uh, on two German routes, Harpstrecker Rheinruhr and Rheinruhr Austin. They're split track concepts, so you get a fast high speed line and a semi fast speed line. And the country I've decided to focus on today is, uh, well, a country that I've seen in the past few months uh, getting uh, a lot of recognition, I would say. I've, I've seen it on Dovetail Games uh, forums, their social media channels quite often, and even my YouTube channel occasionally, and that is the country of Italy. And uh, so I've decided to do a route suggestion on the Roma to Napoli route, Roma to Naples in uh, Italy, by the uh, rail operator Tren Italia, which thankfully do operate services on a high speed line and a semi fast speed line between the two cities. So let's get into the details of what the route is as well as the type of locomotives that could be potentially featured in Train Sim World's first Italian route, Roma to Napoli. So as you can see from this route map I have constructed, you really you can get a sense of what I'm trying to do here by utilising the split track concept that Dovetail Games have used in the past, but of course on a completely different scale. So as you can see, we have a red line and a blue line. The red line represents the actual uh, high-speed railway line between Rome and Naples, and the blue line represents the slower regional lines between the two cities, which basically means a slower top speed, and services having to stop at more than one station. So let's start with the red high speed line between uh, ne Rome and Naples. It was constructed in December 2005 and it was the first railway line in Italy to be electrified at 25 kV AC overhead. And it was the first in the world to use the ETCS level 2 in normal rail operations, or basically uh, the European Train Control System, which is a signalling and rail traffic management system. Uh, the top speed you can reach on the high speed section is 190 miles per hour. And the route length of the high speed section is 127 miles, so it's quite a long route. Uh, in terms of the stopping patterns, uh, of course, high speed and regional services, or slower services, start at, well, the capital city, Rome, Roma Termini Station to be exact. It is the biggest station in Italy with a whopping 32 platforms, and of course, in the distance, you will be able to see Rome's main centre of attraction, the most iconic volcano in the world. Mount Vesuvius. I'm sure you'll get a sense of its presence, uh, if regardless if you are uh, pretending to be a passenger or a train. It will certainly be good for some rail photography, that's for sure. Now, in terms of the stopping pattern on the high-speed section, you only have to stop at one station, and my word, what a station it is! Probably the <laughs> the most one of the best-looking stations certainly I have ever seen. And that station in question is Napoli Al Fragola. And yeah, it looks quite stunning, doesn't it? And then, of course, finally, high speed and slower regional services stop at Napoli Centrale, which is, of course, right in the city centre of the, the, well, the city of Naples. So that really concludes uh, the route. You want to know about the service pattern of the high speed line? Well, high speed services tend to operate, I would say, it's difficult to predict an accurate number because there isn't really an accurate number. I've tried to research it and I can't find an accurate number of trains that operate per day on the high speed line, but it's between 26 and 40. So take that with a pinch of salt, but uh, either way, that's still quite a bit of services to do for the high speed line. So anyway, let's get into the slower regional services, uh, the slower regional section between Rome and Naples. So with the regional section, or the slower section, you're going to get a different experience, not just visually, because at times you are closer to uh, the Italian Mediterranean coast and of course in a different part of the country, but uh, you're going at a slower speed. The speed limit is 125 miles per hour and there are more stations to stop at, and those stations are where you start at Roma, uh, Termini, and you stop at Latina, Forma, uh, Aversa, and then finally terminating at Napoli Central Station. So you're going to get that kind of stopping starting experience, um, but of course at a significantly higher top speed of um, what you've experienced in previous Transcend World routes. In terms of the surface pattern, it's quite difficult to predict, 
um, but on the website it says four trains per hour between Rome and Naples. I don't know if that's in one direction or both directions. I presume it's both directions. Um, but yeah, that concludes the regional section. So let's actually take a look at, well, the locomotives that operate the, these uh, different types of services. So let's start with the high-speed train, the Fritja Rossa 1000. This entered service in 2015 and was a joint venture built by uh, Bombardier and uh, Hitachi Rail Italy. Now, uh, the top speed of this locomotive is actually 400 kilometers per hour, but sadly, of course, on this route, it can nowhere near reach 400 kilometers per hour due to uh, safety concerns, of course. Um, but my word, I think it's one of the fastest trains ever recorded in Europe. So uh, that's, a inter that's a fantastic stat to have. Um, in terms of the capacity on the trains, you, know, you get eight car sets and you get two sets of eight connected together. So there's a different variety of services there you can have. Uh, the passenger capacity aboard each set of eight is 457 uh, passengers. The actual class system is different uh, compared to normal trains. You have four different types of uh, classification. You have executive, business, premium and standard. And of course you get uh, a buffet car aboard the train as well. And uh, I must say, uh, the interior as well as the cab, it looks pretty good, I must say so. <laughs> and the paintwork, uh, yeah, red, yeah, it's a fast train, it has to be red because it, it, it reminds me of Ferrari, uh, the motor car company, and uh, it's actually been known as the Ferrari of the rails, and uh, what a cool name, what a nickname to have. <laughs> so let's start, uh, so, that's, so let's now get into the regional express train that is operated by Trenitalia. So the next train in question is the Ferriccia Bianca, or, actually, or formerly known as the FS Class E414 electric locomotive. It's an old locomotive, it was built between 1994 and 1996, 60 were produced. In 2007 they were refurbished to be used in double units to haul the Ferriccia Bianca intercity express services. Uh, in terms of the performance characteristics, it produces 5,900 horsepower and the top speed is 120 miles per hour after reconversion. And I like it, it's an old school locomotive, it certainly looks old, but certainly looks cool. <laughs> and I like the livery and the coaches as well. Uh, so yeah, let's head to my overall conclusion. So overall, I think I would absolutely love to have this type of route in Train Sim World. It's, pro it's very likely it will never happen, I mean, I thought when doing a route in Italy, I thought, well, I was originally going to do Milan to Torino, which is a 78 mile uh, high speed line, but I thought, let's do something different. Let's do something big and bold. Let's use a concept that Dovetail have uh, successfully used in the past in Train Sim World, and let's see if we can use that in a route in Italy. And I think Roma, Rome to Naples fits the bill perfectly. You've got a, a modern high speed line, and uh, with a modern locom high-speed locomotive on the route, you've got intercity services with an old-school locomotive, and of course, you get different sights, you get different scenery, you get the fantastic Italian countryside, you get the, some of the biggest cities in Italy, the capital, Rome, Mount Vesuvius, Naples, you get to see a bit of the Italian Mediterranean coastline. And I think from a business and marketing perspective, it will be uh, dynamite for Dovetail Games, you know, certainly bringing in way more fans on board from Italy, uh, bringing in the new branding in Trent Italia, and yeah, just it would be nice to extend our portfolio of European routes in different countries, not just France, England, and Germany. I think, so we need to expand, push into different countries, and I think Italy would be certainly top of the list in terms of expanding uh, Train Sim World's portfolio of European routes. I would like to it I would love for it to happen and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video it's been very difficult to make in terms of getting the research the photography and the videos but of course if you'd enjoyed it make sure to give it a like and please subscribe if you are new for more up-to-date train sim world news and content from me links in the description below of course for the twitch twitter the discord server and the patreon page for this channel and as always I will see you next time thank you very much take care